The distinguished gentleman from Anak Kalusugan Party List has 10 minutes. Please proceed. Thank you, Honorable Estrella, our uh, presiding officer, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Honorable uh, Lawrence Defensor. Let me just quote Section 105 before I begin, Mr. Speaker. Questions of privilege. Questions of privilege are urgent matters directly and principally affecting the duties, conduct, rights, privileges, dignity, integrity, or reputation of the House or of its members individually or collectively. Nabanggit ko po, Mr. Speaker, no ako'y nagpaalam sa ating kagalang-galang na Majority Floor Leader na ako po'y tumatayo on a question of personal and collective privilege. Sa kadahilanan na ang Pangulo po ay nagsalita kagabi tungkol sa investigasyon na isinasagawa sa Development Bank of the Philippines na kung saan binanggit niya na nagkaroon ng suspension at if I may quote him directly, sabi niya, hindi maganda para sa atin yan. Mr. Speaker, the President also stated that there are many investigations of banks but in this particular case, when we were about to investigate the Lopez loan, we suspended the investigation. At idinugtong niya, Mr. Speaker, na ito daw po ay ibibigay niya na sa ombudsman. Now, Mr. Speaker, let me begin by saying that I already spoke with the Honorable Aglipay, who was here with us in plenary, the Chairman of the Committee on Good Government. At nagpapasalamat po ako, Mr. Speaker, Dahil ngayon po, nagkaroon kami ng paglilinaw kung ano ang tatahakin at direksyon ng Committee ng Good Government at ng ating Kongreso. Importante, Mr. Speaker, yung sinabi ng ating Presidente at kung ano ang aksyon na gagawin ng ating Kongreso ukol sa investigasyon na ito. Dahil ang ating reputasyon, ang ating integridad, ang ating pong Panunungkulan, our duties and responsibilities here in Congress, in particular, the Committee on Good Government, has to pursue the investigations until its final conclusion. Malinaw po yan. Pagka po nagkaroon ng paghinto, ito ay didesisyonan ng committee. It is the committee's decision. I'd like to thank the Honorable Aglipay again, Mr. Speaker, during the break. Inalpitan niya po ako at nagkaroon na po kami ng paglilinaw. Because Mr. Speaker, what happened was, in January 18, nagkaroon kami ng investigasyon. Doon po sa aming pag-uusap, sinabi ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas na yung mga loan na to ay walang eligibility. Yung po ang nauna. Ang pangalawa po, ang sinabi po nila ay walang mga dokumento at nawawala na daw. Ang hindi alam, ng Development Bank of the Philippines, eh meron po tayong hawak ng mga dokumento. Dahil ang isyo po na ito ay lumabas na isang dekadang nakaraan. No less than the columnist Neil Cruz of the Philippine Daily Inquirer, God bless his soul, wrote about this issue of condoned loans of the ABS-CBN Lopez Group. And Mr. Speaker, it was in fact the very statement of President Duterte that there are condoned loans. And during that hearing, Banco Central ng Pilipinas was affirming that there were loans not given legibility. Ngayon, Mr. Speaker, kung ito namang depensa nila sinasabi nila na ito daw po ay pwede sila magbenta kahit hindi naman sa SPAV dahil ito naman po daw ay tax incentive Lalo pong mas masama dahil yung sam na bilyon na utang, ginawa po nilang tatlong bilyon. Mr. Speaker, I see the face of the Honorable, the beautiful face of the Honorable Herrera. She requested me not to dwell on the issue, but I'm just stating a fact na meron pong patutunguhan ang isyong to. May mga dokumento at may mga ebidensya. At ang Pangulo na nga mismo nagsabi tatlong taong nakaraan. Binanggit niya na to Kagabi, nagalit na siya sa Kongreso. Bakit natin hinto at ibibigay sa ombudsman? Ang tanong ko, Mr. Speaker, ano ang ating gagawin? Ang tanong ko sa liderato ng ating Kongreso, hindi ko na ho babanggitin ang pangalan dahil sabi ni Congressman Herrera, wag mo na sabihin ang pangalan ni Speaker Lord Velasco. 
Ano ang aksyon na ating gagawin tungkol sa investigasyon na ito? Mr. Speaker, again, I thank the Honorable Aglipay. I understand there will be a hearing on the 17th. Sana po ay matapos natin ito. Because Mr. Speaker, in the end, ang talumpati ng ating Pangulo was on the vaccination. And he mentioned that the payment for vaccination will come from loans. Ito po ay panggagaling sa utang. At ang utang na yan, manggagaling sa DBP at sa World Bank. Ang pera po ng DBP ay pera ng taong bayan. Yan po ay pera ng gobyerno. At responsibilidad ng kongresyong to na hindi payagang maulit muli ang paggawala ng pondong yan. Dahil yan po ay hindi natin pera, hindi pera ang privado, kundi pera ng sambayan ng Pilipino. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and good afternoon to everyone. Thank you, distinguished gentleman from uh, Anak uh, Kalusugan Party List, the Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, can I be recognized? Mr. Speaker, I move to recognize the Honorable Michael Aglipay. The uh, gentleman, uh, Representative Mike Aglipay, is hereby recognized. Please proceed. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Honorable Mike Defensor, maraming salamat sa iyong uh, uh, talumpati. Kung kami po ay nagiling ng February, uh, uh, January 18, our, sir? ay uh, napagkasunduan po sa mga resource persons na binigyan sila ng taning na isang buwan na iproduce po yung mga dokumento na kulang. Yung Lopez Group po, DBP, at saka BSP. Yung taning po na yon ay sa Feb 18 pa, kaya ang hearing po natin ay sinuspend ko nung Feb uh, 3, 2. Nung Feb 3 po, uh, natawagan po tayo ni Speaker and then instruction niya tayo, biski hindi pa Feb 18 is mag-hearing na. Yung utos po na yon nung Feb 3 ay sabi ko, Speaker, Kailangan po kahit konting oras mabigyan natin kasi 15 years ago pa po itong mga papeles na to. So napagusundan pa namin nung February and uh, instructionan ko po yung COMSEC na i-prepare ang hearing sa Feb 17. So yun po ang napagkasundan ng lahat at uh, ito po ay pending sa Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability. Rest assured po ay hanapin natin yung punot dulo nitong issue na to. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, distinguished gentleman from Diwa Party List, the majority floor leader. I might, but Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I move to recognize the Honorable Deputy Speaker, Bernadette Herrera. Uh, the distinguished Deputy Speaker is hereby recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. i just like to react because my name was being mentioned. I was looking at the Honorable Defensor. Because this, this um, topic is already a topic in the committee already for deliberation. And hindi po tama that he's using the time here in plenary to discuss things that are up for investigation in the Committee on Good Government. Kaya po po siya tinitignan para pigilan po siya dahil hindi po tama na dinidiscuss po natin ang bagay na to, ang subject matter na to. And he gave us his assurance earlier that he will not violate the rules of, of this floor of the plenary para po magkaroon ng due advantage doon sa kanyang posisyon. Kaya, Mr. Speaker, um, I just like to put that in record. That's why, that is the reason why I was looking at him, to prevent him from saying anything further regarding the subject matter that is already a topic in the Committee on Good Government. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. The remarks of the distinguished lady uh, deputy speaker is noted by the chair. Uh, the majority floor leader. Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. I move that we recognize the Honorable Mr. Speaker. Pete Belmonte. May I move that I we recognize the Honorable Pete Belmonte. Honorable Atienza, Mr. Speaker. Sorry. I would like to be the, enlightened. The, 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 I yield. I yield. Mr. Speaker, the uh, Honorable Belmonte yielded to the Deputy Speaker. Uh, Atienza, may we recognize the Honorable Atienza? The Deputy, the Distinguished Deputy Speaker, see by recognize, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
We would like to be enlightened. What is the purpose of these deliberations going on now on the floor? To take over the time that we would want to allot to tackle very important measures pending before this body. Ano po ba ang punod dulo nito? At ano po ba ang karapatan ni Congressman Defensor na tumayo upang kwestiyonin ang nangyayari sa kubiti? Nagbago na po ba tayo ng rules? He is mentioning a collective privilege. I do not feel belonging to that issue. That issue is not my own, my, my concern and I'd like to be dissociated from his position. And I am questioning his citing collective privilege. And this issue is a very personal one for him. personal privilege, and I will respect that. Pero collective, I do not feel belonging to what he cited here. He is citing again his personal crusade against the ABS and the Lopez uh, companies. Ako po'y nakadalo sa isang pulong na ginaganap base po sa kanila reklamo chaired by Con Congressman Mike Ablipay and I listened to the deliberations and the opportunities given him to support their allegation and I personally witnessed failure on their part to support their allegations with documents and I support whatever action the chairman would take to handle these particular issues because when one goes to any committee for an investigation, he should be ready with documents and not go on a fishing ex expedition requiring the banks, including the central bank, to bring the documents that they are required to present before the body, before the council, the committee. At this point, bringing the issue on the floor occupies all of our time, and I question that particular action because this is not in accordance with the rules. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, before the reply, my name was mentioned, and I'd like to react on the statement of the Honorable Agenda, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, before we resume, uh, may I recognize the Honorable Keith Belmonte. The distinguished gentleman uh, from uh, Quezon City, Minority Floor Leader, is hereby recognized. Proceed. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I was rising uh, in the middle of the speech of the Honorable about something. However, my microphone was not working at that time, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure my brother will agree with me, Mr. Speaker. Of course, it is his right to speak something of personal collective privilege. However, he was, I presume that he was carried away in tackling matters that were already subject matter to a committee deliberation, as pointed out by the Honorable. I'm sure it was unintended by the Honorable Defensor to get carried away that far and cause these reactions. Therefore, uh, in accordance with our rules, Mr. Speaker, may I move that we strike out all the matters mentioned by the Honorable Defensor from the records that are related to the subject matter discussed already in the committee, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Mr. Speaker, is there, there any objection? No, Mr. Speaker, objection? object before the ruling of the chair. May I just uh, quickly reply? Uh, the, the distinguished uh, gentleman from Anak Kalusugan is uh, hereby recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, isa is saying ko, ah, ang unang binanggit po ni Honorable Atchensa, Yung daw salita ko is not a collective privilege. It is precisely a collective privilege, Mr. Speaker, dahil ang Pangulo nagsabi, Kongreso. That is so not that my is point, the collective. Mr. Speaker, and my, I have a motion. Mr. Yeah, yeah. No, before the motion, just quick. Now, on the, on, now, on a personal level, Mr. Speaker, I did say it is a personal and collective privilege. Now, Mr. Speaker, sinasabi ni Honorable Belmonte, I already touched on the issue. Mr. Speaker, I never discuss pro or against the issue. Ang sinasabi ko lang yung factual na merong mga lumabas doon sa ginawa naming hearing. Therefore, yun ang kinagalit ng Pangulo. Now, if you feel that the President had no right to say 
that mali ang pag-suspend natin, okay, delete what I said. That there was condonation, that there was suspension, because that is the statement of the President. And if the majority will allow that, that those phrases will be taken off, then I would say that this very Congress is fighting the objective and intent of the President. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank Mr. you, Speaker. gentlemen from Manak Talusugan, the Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Speaker, there is a pending motion. I object, I Mr. Speaker. Oh. I object. So we vote on it. There is a motion. Will the distinguished gentleman from Quezon City please repeat his motion? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, uh, um, this, this representation believes we should not vote on a question of rules. This is a rule written in our book of rules governing this particular Congress. And this, the gentleman from Anakalusugan is citing a subject which is already being taken up in a committee. So what's the, what's the basis for taking it up? So therefore I support the suggestion which gentleman of Congressman the, Belmonte to, Mr. Speaker, to dispense with this discussion. Otherwise, we will concentrate the whole afternoon today on this issue. With the indulgence of everybody, um, will the distinguished gentleman from Quezon City please uh, repeat his motion? Mr. Speaker. Or, yes, please. Sir, Mr. Speaker, I move that the statements of the Honorable Gentleman from Anak Kalusugan, which pertain to subject matters already being tackled by a relevant committee of the House, be stricken from the records of this plenary session. Majority Mr. Floor Mr. Leader. I object, Mr. Speaker. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker before the good gentleman, uh, Honorable Defensor, can make an objection, this representation for the majority joins the Honorable Kate Belmonte and move to strike the uh, statements pertaining to those related matters as mentioned by the Honorable Belmonte. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I firmly move to strike out those statements. Is Mr. There Speaker, any if I, if I motion, state my objection. Is there any objection to the motion of the distinguished gentleman from Quezon City? I object, Mr. Speaker, and if I may state my objection.